This is a voiceover while the rest of the video is pre-recorded audio. It's just this a little segment in the beginning, uh, the audio was corrupted. So I'm going to be doing a little voiceover for this part. But the supplies I'll be using for this video um, are the brush pens I bought off of Amazon that I featured in my stationery haul, a mechanical pencil, and my Tombow soft tip brush pen. And also some watercolors. I'm not necessarily sure what brand it is, where it's from. I just remember having watercolors. But let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is choose a quote um, from these inspiration cards um, I featured in my stationery haul. These are amazing. I, I love these. Um, I don't have to go on the internet to like search for any quote which is kind of a hassle and here i'm just kind of choosing um a few that i really really like and putting the rest of them in a pile off to the side This is going to turn into a mini series, which I'm going to leave a poll right here in the i card um, for you to vote if uh, I should make this into a mini series. Um, I chose these six cards, and if I do make this into a mini series, I might uh, do one for each episode, maybe. But the one that I chose for this episode, well, I mean, this video is by Rol Wa Ralph of uh, Walter Emerson. It's the do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there's no trail in the future, uh, path in the future. So I'm ch I chose that one. So I'm gonna save these five just in case, but that that's about it. So we're going to So I think we're just gonna go into it because like I mean we don't really oh in a racer sir We're gonna start by doing the little top part and we are committing, committing. Okay, let's go. So, so far it's going pretty good. Uh, the G is a bit gross, but you know, that's fine. And then, yeah, it's, it's pretty good so far. I think I'm, the letters are getting a bit smaller, so I'm gonna go off my pencil sketch. 
Okay, so we are done with the first color. And I'm gonna go in with my Tombow soft tip brush pen and write the May lead part. That's our main lead, and then let me add a little comma. Whew, okay, it's going pretty good so far. Um, so hopefully it doesn't go bad. <laughs> Oh, that's not okay. That space, oh gee, I can't go back. <laughs> Oops. That's really annoying me. is no path and now okay i didn't think about this i'm not sure what color i should make this so that's something we gotta think about i think i might just do this gray color would that be okay i think i'd be okay yeah let's see So, um, the third shade that I chose is this, um, light green. Uh, I'm going to make an ombre. <gasps> um, you know what? That's fine. Let's just make it into a diamond. <laughs>
Okay. Whew, we finished with that. I think it looks pretty good. I'm proud of myself. But now you gotta blend it with this color. And I'm kind of skeptical, uh, skept skept skeptical about this because this is a really dark color. Maybe I should have chosen a different color, but we're gonna go. I don't really care anymore. Okay, we are done. Oh, I actually forgot to write Ralph uh, Walter Emerson, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I think I know how to spell it. But you know. Okay, let's write. <laughs> That's Ralph Waldo Emerson, and I'm just gonna write my signature I use for all of my masterpieces. And it's that one. Okay, so I think now all I gotta do is kind of decorate it with some doodles and uh, erase the pencil marks, and we're good for this quote thing. Let's get on to the time round. all of the pencil marks and uh, near the sensitive areas of the paper like the uh, like near the watercolor I kind of uh, you know left it there I tried to erase as much as I can but the paper started like scratch like um, peeling so that's bad and uh, it didn't really help because you can see near here I tried to erase on the watercolor but it would just would not erase and I think that's kind of just a uh, a little perk that comes with a watercolor so 
Oh, that's that. And you can see there was a lot of bleeding um, and ghosting on the back, but that's mainly because I was blending and I guess the water color, but everything else is fine. But now we're gonna add decorations like drop shadows and other kind of stars. And we're gonna see how it turns out. adding all of the drop shadows and I think it turned out pretty good especially here it looks has a really nice detail um, and now I'm going to add these little stars everywhere because I accidentally did a little line here and I just turned it into a star so now I have to do a ton of stars everywhere with that marker well I could do it with other colors but that's that. a paint pen because actually uh, I knew a white gel pen wouldn't really show up on watercolor and like all those other stuff so that's why I used a paint pen but here's the final product um, and also the stars what I did with the stars was that um, I did different color stars corresponding to the area of like the color that was in so like for this color I did the same color stars and like you know so forth so I think we're done with this um with this phenomenon and we are done making this masterpiece and I'm super excited uh to like show everyone and post this video um because this this took a long time maybe like 45 minutes, I would say. But I think it turned out really good. I'm really proud of myself. And please uh, tell me if you want a mini series of this, cause I've got these cards over here that have quotes I really like as well. So we might be doing those in future videos, but thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.